Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen one coding exercise. That was a simple one, like uh, you have to just write down a program to find out the number is prime or not. Right? I hope you have done that. Now we will be working on a project. I think this is project number 4. Till now we have discussed in the series 3 project. Rock, paper, scissor, one was password generator and one was hangman game. I think this is fourth one. Or you can check out the Python playlist on my uh, channel. That is Caesar cipher. We are going to implement Caesar cipher. So let me just brief you first if you don't know what is Caesar cipher and all about. Right? So this is what basically a technique to send secret messages. Encryption techniques now uh, nowadays like in WhatsApp also sometimes you uh, got those messages like the messages are encrypted these kind of thing, things like. So whatever you will send the message as a simple text like I, I want to send hello. So that is a simple plain message but that would be first encrypted into some other form then it would be sent to the receiver and the receiver can decrypt that message. Yeah, we have some technique how it will be encrypted and decrypted, decrypted that message. So for this we have uh, many uh, encryption and decryption techniques. One is Caesar cipher. This is the simplest one, the basic one. Right? So, so that you know hackers cannot, if they are going to hack your message, they are not able to get the message as it is plain text. Right, they will get some other C4 text. Like whatever we will send that is known as the plain text. And after in after applying some encryption technique, that text would be known as C4 text or cipher text you can see. That becomes cipher text and one is plain text like this hello is plain text. So that would be converted into cipher text that is known as encryption. And at the receiver end, the cipher text would be converted back to plain text. That technique is known as decryption. Okay. The basic one I am going to tell you right now. Now what is the Caesar cipher? What encryption and decryption technique would be used? It is the simplest one. Basically, you can say it is a substitution cipher. So see, how many alphabet we have? Like 26. So I am writing like A, B, C, D, E, something like this. Right. So, while encrypting, there is a key, right? We are going to shift the numbers, or you can say the shift key. Suppose the key is 1, shift key is 1. So, now this A becomes B, B becomes C, C becomes D, like this, D becomes E, F, G. So this is plain text and this is cipher text. If the shift key, shift key is 1, we are going to shift these numbers, right? If the shift key is 2, so we are going to shift these, uh, sorry, those not numbers, alphabets by 2. So if the shift key is 2, then the cipher text becomes, A becomes 1, 2, C. A becomes C, B becomes 1, 2, D, like this and so on. This is what encryption, this is how encryption is to be done. And at the place, at the receiver end, what de de decryption would be done, how? We are, if the shift key is 2, means C and D, rather than A, B, we have sent C, D. So at the receiver end, this is the cipher text, cipher text, the key is 2, so we are going to shift C and D backward two place. So C becomes 1 to A, D becomes 1 to B. This is decryption. I hope you got the basic idea of Caesar cipher. Right? How the shifting is to be done while encryption and while decryption. So the formula, basic formula is for encryption, the formula is, it's like you can say X plus N mode 26. Here x is the letter, suppose letter is A, so x is A plus the n is the shift key, shift key is suppose 2, so n is 2, mode 26, mode means modulo operator, mode 26, right. So this is the, this is the case, x means the letter or you can say uh, that position of that letter because 
when we write down all the alphabet then index we are going to start obviously from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 25 z would be having index 25 right so x means this a a the position is 0 0 plus 2 means 2 more 26 2 more 26 becomes 2 right so at the place uh, means 2 means now we will find out at second position what is the letter c so it would be a would be replaced with c right and the decryption for same is same like maybe x i but rather than this plus we will do minus mode 26 so if you are sending a a becomes c if the shift key is 2 so x i means what is the position of that letter c is what index is 2 2 minus n is what 2 2 minus 2 is 0 0 mode 26 is 0 so at 0th index we have a so at the time of de decryption the c becomes a that's correct so this is the formula and if by chance this this dn value this becomes negative so we'll do what we will add 26 to this number simple see if uh, the cipher in cipher text we have this this letter d so d for the uh, for uh, position for d is 3 so 3 minus rather than 2 suppose rather than 2 n value the shift key is 15 shift key is suppose 15 so 3 minus 15 more 26 minus 12 more 26 so if this value is what negative this dn value is what negative so right now add 26 to this it becomes 14 now 14 divide 14 modulo 26 becomes 14 at 14 we will having o so d would be converted to o like this okay now let me just show you what kind of output you will get when you will run your project right it will give you some idea how to implement that thing what kind of exact output i want right okay so once you implement this thing the output should be something like this like type encrypt for encryption and decrypt for decryption so i want to encrypt first now type your type your message so like hello jenny a shift number suppose three any shift number the key you can give so the encrypted result is k h o o r m h q q b see the space is as it is hello jenny hello space jenny and here we have space as it is so again it will ask type yes if you want to go again otherwise no yes i want to go again I want to decrypt now so type decrypt for decryption now type your message so I want to decrypt the same message so let's just copy paste this and type your message right and the shift number should be obviously same so it should be 3 must be 3 so here is the decrypted result that is hello gen you what from say cipher text to plain text now again if yes you want to go again otherwise no so no and that's it it will say goodbye so this kind of output i want so now you have to try this out so i hope you got what is caesar cipher the basics the introduction of this thing now in the next video we will see the solution we will implement this project so now i will see in the next video till then bye take care